If you truly want to take care of your overall health, it's extremely important to take good care of your immune system. And one of the best ways to do so is to eat a healthy diet that is full of the essential vitamins and nutrients that our body needs. In this video, we are going to break down some of the vitamins that are crucial to the health of your immune system, and we're also going to mention some foods that you can eat to increase the intake of these essential vitamins. Be sure to watch until the very end because there's one that far too many people overlook. So if you're ready, let's get into it. Before we go any further, just know that we are not doctors. This video is for informational and entertainment purposes only. The first vitamin that we need to discuss is, of course, vitamin C. Vitamin C is great for the immune system because it helps the body create new white blood cells which work naturally to ward off infections. So if your diet is lacking in vitamin C, your body will have less white blood cells which means a weakened immune system and a greater likelihood of you getting sick. The good news is, several foods that you probably already eat in your diet are loaded with vitamin C. Take bell peppers for example. A one cup serving of bell peppers, or about 150 milligrams, will provide you with almost double the recommended daily amount of vitamin C. Other foods that are high in vitamin C include broccoli, Brussels sprouts, cauliflower, leafy greens, sweet potatoes, tomatoes, and squash. The next vitamin that we should mention is vitamin B6. This vitamin is incredibly important when it comes to enhancing your immune system and has been linked to decreasing the risk of cancer. Vitamin B6 also plays a crucial role in building antibodies as well as regulating inflammation within the body. One food that is loaded with vitamin B6 is tuna fish. Approximately 6 ounces of tuna will provide your body with around half of the daily recommended intake of vitamin B6. Other meats such as chicken, turkey, and salmon are also good sources of vitamin B6 as well. Next we need to talk about vitamin B12. This vitamin is typically known for giving your body an energy boost, but it actually plays an important role in the body's immunity as well. Vitamin B12 provides a boost for the natural killer cells, which are a type of lymphocytes, meaning that they are an important type of white blood cells. Enhanced natural killer cells are good for fighting infections and helping the body recover from viruses. One food that is absolutely loaded with vitamin B12 is beef liver. Now look, I get it. Beef liver isn't something that sounds very appetizing, nor is this a staple of most people's diets. But the fact remains, beef liver is a good source of vitamin B12, which makes it a great food for boosting your immune system. Unfortunately, most people do not get enough of vitamin B12 in their diet, and this is especially true for vegans and vegetarians because high doses of B vitamins are typically not found in plant-based diets. So if you eat mostly vegetables, you may consider vitamin B12 supplements, of course, as long as it's recommended by your doctor. The next vitamin that is good for the immune system is vitamin A. Vitamin A plays an important role in the structure and function of B and T cells, which are involved in the body's immune response. Vitamin A also assists in starting an antibody response that works to fight off infections. One example of a food that is high in vitamin A is sweet potatoes, which are not only extremely tasty, they are good for the immune system as well. And some other good sources of vitamin A include spinach, carrots, and eggs. Next up is vitamin E. Vitamin E is an antioxidant that helps maintain cell walls and prevent damage when an infection is present. If you're like me and enjoy snacking between meals, it's hard to find anything better and healthier than almonds. Not only are almonds delicious, they are also loaded with vitamin E, which makes them great for your immune system. Simply eating a handful of almonds per day is a great way to provide a quick boost for your immune system. Some other good sources of vitamin E include sunflower seeds and granola. Now, I couldn't have made this video without mentioning vitamin D. 
Usually when we think of vitamins, they typically come from our diet or from taking supplements. Now vitamin D is just a little bit different. It's referred to as the sunshine vitamin because your body absorbs it simply by being in the sun. As UV rays from the sun hit your skin, vitamin D is produced and absorbed into your body. Vitamin D is good for the immune system because it increases the production of immune cells and cytokines, which help fight off unwanted pathogens in the body. It helps maintain optimal blood levels of calcium and phosphorus as well. Simply spending 30 minutes per day in sunlight will allow your body to create vitamin D naturally. But if you live in a non-sunny climate or are unable to go outdoors, salmon, tuna, and mushrooms are a few foods that are high in vitamin D that you could consider adding to your diet. And a question that many people ask is, should I take a multivitamin supplement? Now, there is a lot of debate on this topic. A multivitamin is a supplement that contains many different vitamins and minerals, sometimes alongside other ingredients as well. While usually it's recommended to get your daily vitamins naturally from your diet, in some cases, vitamin supplements may be beneficial for some people. It's important to know that as humans, we are all different. Our bodies are at different stages and health levels, and some require more or less vitamins and nutrients than others. So where a multivitamin supplement may be beneficial for one person, it could potentially be harmful for someone else. That is exactly why you should always speak with your doctor about whether or not you should be taking vitamins as a supplement. But like I said, if possible, we should all strive to take in these vitamins naturally through the foods that we eat in our diets. Real quick guys, do me a huge favor and hit the like button. It really helps support the channel and I greatly, greatly appreciate it. And while you're down there, go ahead and click the subscribe button as well because we have a ton of other videos on our channel that I think you will enjoy. I hope you like the tips that were shared in this video. Millions of people around the world suffer from all different types of viruses and infections. Thankfully, we can always take better care of our immune system by making sure that we're consuming adequate amounts of the essential vitamins that our body needs. Just one final reminder, this video is for informational purposes only. It's always best to check with your doctor to see exactly which vitamins are best for your individual circumstances. But hopefully you got a lot out of it and hopefully you're now one step closer to taking better care of your immune system and improving your overall health. Which of these vitamins will you be adding to your diet? Let me know down in the comment section below. And just a reminder, we do have a full guide on this topic on our website. I will drop a link to it right below this video down in the description. Thank you so much for watching all the way to the end. Have a blessed day and as always, breathe easy my friend.